Hello there, this is the Business Day CEO Forum. My name is Elizabeth Musa, and I'm here standing with the Dean of the University of Cape Town Graduate School of Business, Catherine Dogan. She was brilliant at a presentation, and she's here to talk to us all about leadership in tough times. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. Same here. So talk to us, what do you think are some of the similarities that Nigeria has with South Africa in terms of its operation? And in terms of its operation, its leadership, what are some of the similarities? What are some things that Nigeria can learn from South Africa? Well, so obviously the economies are relatively similar. So um, in certain respects, so they're both very big economies. They're the biggest economies together, um, the biggest economies in, sub in sub-Saharan Africa. But in South Africa, most of our economy is based on mining, um, whereas in, obviously in Nigeria, most of the exports are based on oil. So um, what we're bringing out of the ground is different, but the fact that we are significantly reliant on commodities that we extract from the ground is quite similar. So I would say that what that means is both countries have an opportunity to really shift the way that their economies work to take more advantage of a changing global landscape. And that's really what we do at at the University of Cape Town at the Graduate School of Business, we're really making business leaders ready to step into what I like to call the African century. So what I've been doing here and what I've really enjoyed is having an opportunity to speak to people, to speak to the top CEOs, some of the most important officials in the country about the need for all of us to come together um, and really understand how we can change our mindsets in order to really get the boost to get the different, um, you know, the sort of different approach that we're going to need to have if we're going to fully capitalize and take advantage of the next century, the coming century, and again, um, for demographic reasons as well as for opportunity reasons, the African century. And speaking of that, what are some of the key takeaways you're taking away from this event? Oh, I think it's been it's been such a wonderful event. There have been so many really important lessons to be learned. I, the, we had the former central bank governor of Kenya talking about lessons from Everest um, and the ways in which challenge uh, creates opportunity. And obviously, I think Kenya has really sprinted ahead in the ways in which it is engaging with the new economy and in ways in which it's really again, capitalizing on technology and new ways of thinking. And it was very interesting to hear his insights about how Kenya relates to some of the situation in South Africa. And then, of course, we had the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, um, who was talking in so many interesting ways about the challenges that the country faces and how the central bank has really been working to drive improvement and drive change. And I think the thing that I, the thing that he said that I will take away the most, he said many things, but the thing I'll take away the most is the importance of communication. Um, and how um, he and his team are spending as much time as possible communicating because that is what increases confidence in both the central bank and in the Nigerian economy in general. And I thought that that was really interesting. And I, more importantly, I think it's something which applies to every single one of us. It applies to every CEO and it applies to any government official as well. I mean, you are also a, you're, you're a leader in the educational sector. What are some of the things that you, I mean, you must have a curriculum that you probably have put in place in the University of Cape Town and that you would like us to probably, you know, just infuse into our own curriculum to you know, take away some of the bottlenecks that we face, some of the challenges that we face when it comes to education in Nigeria. What are some of those um, a curriculum that you could probably introduce us to? Terrific. Well, first of all, you're welcome. Anybody really is welcome to come down to the University of Cape Town at the Graduate School of Business. We are the, we're the best business school in Africa. Um, Lagos Business School is fantastic, and we have a number of really excellent business schools in Nigeria. Um, but what we really specialize in at UCT is because we are the leading business school in sub-Saharan Africa attached to the best university in Africa. We really specialize in being a school that stands shoulder to shoulder with business schools around the world, as well as creating a bridge across the African continent and between Africa and the rest of the world. So 
it is really an opportunity to bring people together from around the continent to share insights. Um, and we do that by making sure that we have a distinctly African curriculum, um, that we are really not only generating our own teaching materials, our own cases, we have a lot of cases on Nigeria, uh, let alone other cases on Kenya, South Africa, um, lots of other African countries, um, but making sure that those cases are relevant, making sure that the students who come out of our programs, whether they're MBA students or whether they're executives, come out understanding the skills and skills that they might learn at business schools in the US or in Europe, but then also the unique African context in which, the, the, in which they will use those skills because it differs so much. And one of the things that I said um, in my talk and that I like to say is, Doing business in Africa is like playing video games on hard mode for anybody who plays video games. And what that means is anybody who's doing business in Nigeria is not only having to think about all of the things that they need to do in, let's say, New York or London or Singapore, but also all of the other things that everybody in Nigeria is managing on a day-to-day -day basis. And so what that means is people who are doing business here, it's hard, I know it's hard, but if you're doing business here, you are really managing to be faster and smarter and more agile than people who are doing things in the US or in Europe or almost anywhere else around the world. And I think that's really special and that's one of the things that makes doing business in Africa and engaging with talented young Africans and, and talented Africans of all ages. It's one of the best part of my job. And it's something that I never, never, never get tired of. It is inspiring to be on the continent. It's inspiring to see all of the amazing things that are going on, including many of them in this, um, in this uh, um, event. And it really is something that I, um, it, it inspires me to go out and tell again the, the real story of African business, uh, both across Africa, across the continent, in South Africa, and around the world. So what do you, I mean, this is completely different from all the questions I've been asking you. What do you particularly like about Nigeria? So I love the energy here. Um, I love the energy. I love the degree to which I feel very confident that no matter what happens, Nigerian people are going to figure out how to manage it. I love the engagement. I love the fact um, that if we ask, and there are hundreds of people in this room right now, if we ask anybody in this room about their opinions on a large number of things, including politics around the world, that they will not only know about them, but they'll have strong opinions. And I think it's that level of engagement, it's that real interest in being part of this broad world, but also being a, you know, an agent of change in Nigeria, whether that is at an individual level, as the leader of um, you know, a large or small company, as many of the people in this room are, um, or whether it means you know, really ending up in public service, as we heard from some of our speakers today, at every level, not only is it possible to have a bigger impact on more people in Nigeria than I think almost anywhere else in the world, but being in Nigeria is, again, it's just inspiring. It, it makes me excited about the future. And again, as I mentioned, it, by 2050, one in four people on this planet will be African and Nigerians will lead the way. Mm -hmm. So if we're interested, and I know I am, if we're interested in seeing the future, in engaging with the future, in having an impact on the future, then this is the place to be. And if you, like I do, if you like a good challenge, if you like doing hard things, then Nigeria is the ultimate place to do that. It is you know, incredibly high reward, incredibly hard work with a lot of really interesting, incredibly smart people who have a perspective that you're not going to get anywhere else in the world. Fantastic. Any final words to the audience today? Only that it's been wonderful to be here and congratulations and thank you so much to Business Day. I've really enjoyed um, the event. I'm very grateful for the invitation um, and I have to say this is one of the premier events, not only in Nigeria, but also across Africa, to bring people together who are like-minded, who have an opportunity to engage with each other, to hear from amazing speakers. Um, and I hope that you'll um, at least invite me back as an attendee.
Dundee next Absolutely. next year. <laughs> Absolutely. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank this you very much. Morgan. And I hope that you have an amazing week, an amazing weekend, amazing day. Enjoy your stay in Nigeria. Thank you very much. I will.